How's oxygen going doing? Yeah, not good at all. Alright, so we better get another Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, Townsend. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So there's been quite a few updates since the last episode of uh, Oxygen Not Included. And I really do like this game. Um, obviously, I'm going to spend a ton of time trying to master it. Yeah, but I do like this game. To be honest, with the new updates, I don't know what attributes we need, which are good, which are bad. So I think we're just going to go with the dupes that we have here. Um... What is it? What's our stress factor? Vomiter, Ugly Crier, and Vomiter. Sure, I guess. Why not? We'll embark. I don't see there being anything wrong with uh, Vomiters as long as you keep them happy, right? Alright, so let's pause this real quick. Obviously, we got a lot of water. Uh, we got some copper below us. And let's see. Can we see... I gotta remember everything here, but... That's air... Overlays, heat. We got some heat, scorching hot. We have a very narrow uh, world here. Hmm, interesting. Let's close that off and let's, I guess might as well just start building like we normally do. So let's go like so. Ooh, look, it even shows you how many blocks that is. 15 by four, 10 by four, seven by five. Yeah, we're just gonna go like that, and we'll start the dupes away, get them going. Uh, as per usual, you always have to start off with a bathroom. Plumbing. I'll we'll actually get two of them going, and we'll speed the dupes up. So, uh, yeah, like, there's... Uh, I think it's going to take us a couple of days until we get into the research tree. But I know there's a lot of um, new stuff. Like, I know, what was it, last time we really played? This might, okay. Thought that was going to go sideways for a second there on us. Uh, let's go like this. Build some more flooring. So, with there being so much heat on both sides of us here, we're going to have to really watch... Guess how close we get to it. Ooh, there's natural gas down here. Hopefully there's a natural gas geyser there. That'd be awesome. If there is, let's go like this right away. Check our oxygen overlay. We're looking good. So, <laughs> also with all our other builds, I always put the storage like right below uh, the beginning. But uh, I found out that uh, the storage actually decreases the decor around the area. So... We're gonna have to change that. Like that. Build something there. I'm really, I really like that we're so close to, oh nice, it is a natural gas geyser. Colony lacks a tenured scientist to study it. Oh yeah, that's right, because they disappear after a certain amount of time, which is, uh, you know, a little disappointing, or they don't disappear, they uh, go inactive, I guess you could say. But we'll go all the way down here, because we need to get the storage going immediately. Uh, we also need to get them beds. And I think the beds off to the side will be the best. Uh, as for water, where we're going to store that, I'm not 100% sure. we got a ton up here, a little bit over here, and a lot here. This one would be easier to get down to here. Uh, so maybe we'll start using the water that's there in that area to actually, uh, do stuff with and then we'll worry about everything else afterwards. Like that. Good, we're doing pretty good with. It's like we never left, right? We're living. And how's everything else going? Uh, not the greatest, but whatever. Uh, oh, night time. And our dupes have no bed. <laughs> no worries. Uh, okay, so what we also need to do is get the power going. We'll go like that. Battery. Wire. And then research is under stations. 
Uh, we'll cancel that one. Put the research stations side by side there. Or right beside the battery, not side by side. So hopefully they've uh, made it so farming's not as hard as it was before. It was before. It became pretty hard to actually get uh, everything growing. Mirth leaf. Mirth leaf uh, leaves sport. A calm green hue known for alleviating stress and improving morale. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, so you guys can take all, all except for. Got to make sure they're not putting uh, fertilizer in here. Organic. There we go. Algae's fine. And then we'll copy settings. There we go. So that's that at the moment. <laughs> Alright, so then, now we need to get these guys some beds. Up one more, there we go. Uh, we'll cancel that, but dig it out anyways. Just so that there's airflow. And let's check out the research. Wow. Holy cow. Special cargo, liquid gas, what, cryofuel combustion? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Solid fuel combustion, hydrocarbon, jet packs. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here now. What is all this? Artistic expression. Um, okay. We got a lot of stuff to look at here, you guys, so let's just start with the basics, start with farming. And let's go into priorities, who is our researcher? Two and two. I guess either one of them will do, that's fine. It's actually pretty bad, but... Alright, let me get some beds in here. that going all right not too bad cycle two still alive we haven't died yet <laughs> i think the earliest i've ever died is like oh, uh, what cycle 20 or 30 but that was way back at the very beginning when i barely understood the game and dupes uh, like to drop like flies all right perfect we got a thumbs up from buddy there so now they do have or they look like Used to be in here. Let's see here. There is. Quartz, vitals, consumables. There used to be like a mandatory break time that you could set up so that your dupes would only take breaks at certain points. Alright, so we got our very first duplicate here. Really, uh, nothing too good. Unfortunately. He's got ranching, that's not bad. I was hoping that we'd get somebody that had a little more uh, learning on them. I guess. Uh, ranch and art. We'll pick this guy. See what happens here. What's his name? Liam. Liam is our new duplicate. Also, we do have a lot of stuff on the go here. Ooh, there's, they look different. All right, planter boxes. We need to get a composter going. Like pretty much right now. Uh, so let's go like that. Maybe something like that. We don't have an airtight door yet, so unfortunately we can't really do much about it. Oh, we can't even dig there. Okay, so cancel all that. Oh, they're going to go for water there, right? Must be in our unoccupied space. Hmm. It'll work. It'll go there. So we'll just dig those guys up. It's always nice to have more food anyways. Especially right at the very beginning, we're always lacking food. Furniture. Gotta build another bed. 
This is not a loud sleeper. Also, for research, they've changed it. So you used to need just the basic uh, research station, and then you needed the advanced to do anything secondary, right? You needed them both. But now you can actually do the first two tiers of research before you need the advanced, which is nice. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff in the very first part that we need that uh, <laughs> we had to get the other station going too. It would just take a little bit longer, right? Liam, do you have good research? No, you don't. So get out of there. Alright. Compost it is. Oh, we should probably make sure that we have enough oxygen production too. Didn't think about it. Yeah, I think right there is going to be alright. Since we're so close to our power source, boom. Didn't even notice that yet. We burned through that oxalite super fast. And maybe they can reach up there. You need to get the air flowing. You need, uh, circulation. Or else we, yeah, you become, you, it turns into just, uh, a disaster with, uh, you'll have, like, pockets of bad air here and there, so. As you guys can see, kind of circulating. It's going around there, already filling up. This is pushing out, so right here is like the, I guess, mix zone for all the <laughs> the bad oxygen. Or with all the oxygen with the carbon dioxide in it. Alright, so we need to get food going. Like that. Egg cracker converts viable critter eggs into cooking ingredients. Huh, electric grill, ration box, farm tile. I would have used the farm tile, but... Uh, I don't think it's a viable source at the moment. We really need to click on all of these. There we go. Slow heating, yada yada yada. Lights, we have a mess table. So yeah, we're going to need a place for them to eat now too. Uh, we'll leave the research alone for just a second. Let's get our... settings. I can't remember. I think the muckroot kind of changed. There are 199 germs food poisoning on selected objects. Okay. Yeah, I think muckroot, you can actually grow it without having to put lights above it. Alright, so as per usual, we're uh, running out of food. <laughs> uh, I do have two layers of uh, meal lice going on here. You have the micro musher going along with uh, the electric grill. Now, with the Electric Girl, I have it queued up for mush fry and pickled meal. And the pickled meal, hopefully, will be the best one. It's grizzly minus one, but uh, it gives 1,800 calories. So, fingers crossed that's enough to, you know, kind of dig us out of this uh, rut that we're in. I always run into this issue with, uh, 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 with the game. Uh, let's change the direction. There we go. Right off the bat, you always seem to run out of food, or you, you can't produce enough food. Uh, even with all this meal lice, it doesn't look like it's going to be enough to really keep us going. As you can see, the ration box is completely empty. So, that's an unfortunate part of it. Uh, but we do have a lot of other stuff going on here. I'm just trying to... This is... I want that there. Uh, and then, as for oxygen... Oxygen is horrible at the moment. Um, not 100% sure why. But it is. Uh, Alright. We're gonna have to make some... Uh, more mush bars. And on top of that, we'll make some more mush fries. Which makes the quality zero. Ugh. Not the best thing. You really don't want to be using all of your uh, water for the micro musher. So, it's kind of disappointing. But, uh, we'll see what's going on here. Oh, I didn't even notice this was at all changed down here. 
Uh, also, uh, we did research a lot of uh, furniture here. So we have the pedestal, which displays a single object doubling its decor. Uh, objects with negative decor will gain some positive decor with display. There's corner molding used to decorate the ceilings of rooms. Used to decorate the ceilings of corners. Cool. A hanging plot use houses a single plant when sown with a seed. Increases decor contributing to morale. And then a wall plant increases a single plant. Or houses a single plant, obviously. So it's pretty cool, these new things they've added here. Uh, I'm hoping we can get through this. Food problem, though. That's the issue. As soon as you can get food, uh, a sustainable food going, usually the game becomes a little bit easier, right? Uh, we do have the natural gas geyser down here, which is going to be a good power plant for us. Only issue is, is that we have to get to it, right? Now, I was looking over here um, for building room. Obviously, there's a little bit of chlorine here. But literally, we could dig out even from here. Uh, even if we went a little bit lower and came straight across. We could build into this room, but I don't know what we'd build uh, in that room. Also, I noticed a new plant. Where is it? Right here, the buddy bud. Buddy, uh, buddy buds are leafy plants that have a positive effect on morale. Much like a friend, decor plus 26. Now, I did look in here. Um, let's uproot this for a second. As soon as they uproot that, I'll actually show you. There's a bunch of new plants that actually give to decor and morale. Just have to wait for them to finish doing what they're doing. So I wonder if the pickled meal... Doesn't say whether it needs to be refrigerated or not, so we'll just leave it how it is. Alright. See, that's the issue, is that they're eating the food as quickly as we're harvesting it. There is some food over here. Uh, they're not doing it. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, how many dupes do we have? Six. And we have five beds. Oh, right there. I was like, where's the one that's sleeping on the floor? What makes sense now? How's oxygen going? Doing? Yeah, not good at all. All right, so we better get another, some more oxygen going. Uh, might as well go right there. Not sure why. Like maybe it's just because of the the square footage that we have open now. Uh, we're not producing that much oxygen. And we also keep losing power too, which I, I don't blame it. We're asking for a lot at the moment. But yeah, I wish there was an ice biome close to us because I think that the sleet wheat is still super easy to, to farm up. And the sleet wheat, yeah, you can mass produce it and then you can just make bread, which is really, uh, you can't even see it in there, unfortunately. Okay, so there's one of our pickles. Let's see how much it, uh... It didn't even make a dent in the, the ration box. That's not a good thing. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to make some dents. Okay, how's oxygen looking? Alright, uh, not that good. So let's go like this. We're gonna have to make a pocket for carbon dioxide to come down into and yeah we're gonna have to put some uh algae uh terrariums down in there unfortunately because i don't like using the algae terrariums either because they're a waste of water and algae all right i would like to get another dupe but we have a food shortage not immediate but you can tell that we do not have enough food here to really deal with an extra dupe <laughs> All right, there we go. It's starting to look better now. Now that we have two going. All right, we should probably get a couple more. With ten, I'm guessing. Then... Doesn't even tell you what it requires though, unfortunately. Like it says, ingredients mush bar, but is it one or two? And refrigerated idle. So far, not so bad. 
It looks like we might be stabilizing with the food. Great things. Yeah, I think we'll probably cut back on the elect sorry, the micro musher and end up using a lot of the um making a lot of these pickled the pickled meal. There we go. Probably make a lot of that. Uh to try and you know stave off hunger at first until we can explore some more, stabilize a little bit more. Uh yeah. We're getting there, but it's a ways away. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at our new dupe here. Or if we have another dupe. And I do like this one. He's plus five to farming. Let's do it. Print him. Jobs. New guy. Go on a farm. Stinky. We'll take him out. Uh, go with the Prentice Miner. We do need a groundskeeper though. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for that in the next episode. But well, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.